I'm Amanda Little, and we are here with Nancy Sutley, who is the chair of the White House Council on Environmental Quality. Thank you so much Thank for you. taking the time to talk with us. Well, I think you, we have to recognize is that, that all forms of energy production have environmental impacts. There's really, you know, the only one I think that doesn't is energy conservation. So we have to, we have to consider uh, what are the best ways to address those environmental impacts. And I think there, are, there, um, is, the, there is hope for technology that will help to reduce both the environmental impacts of, of mining coal and, uh, and producing electricity with coal. Uh, there are promising technologies to deal with the carbon dioxide uh, using carbon capture and sequestration. And you know, the truth of the matter is, there's a you know we we've had a generation of coal plants that have been built using you know basically 1950s technology, and we really have to push to innovate uh, in that technology because you know whether uh, you know, we, we believe you know, clearly coal is a part of our, our our energy mix now and it's likely to be so in the future uh, but even if we were to stop using coal tomorrow it's used around the world and we have to deal with its environmental impact so investing in the technology uh, investing in innovation and how uh, coal is is used to produce electricity is very important uh, not only for our, for our country and our economy but really for for uh, for the entire world and and we can be a leader in providing that technology we can be a leader in providing the innovation the research that'll get us uh, to be able to deal with uh, the, the effects of, of burning coal uh, and, uh, and and try to address uh, carbon capture and sequestration. And these are important technologies that we're going to need. I think everybody acknowledges, the president has said it, and I think everybody you will talk to acknowledges that you know, there are serious environmental impacts associated with mountaintop mining and we have to address them going forward. You know, we have to look at what the what we can do under our existing authority to strengthen the oversight of these projects and to uh, to see that we're using those authorities um, fully to try to address the Im environmental impacts of mountaintop mining. So, I, in the end, does it mean fewer projects? I, I don't know the answer to them, but uh, but it will mean that we will deal with the environmental impacts of those projects. People uh, care about the environment they experience and, as they experience it, and people very care very much about the environment um, in their communities. They care about the health of their families and their and their and their community. They care about uh, their the places that they they live. Uh, I think there's uh, really a lot of excitement um, about the possibilities of. Of, of this, you know, growing this green economy, of creating a clean energy economy, of green jobs, and what they can mean to communities, you know, which have been suffering a long time with both economic deprivation and environmental harm. And we will make sure that as we as we move forward on this clean energy economy, that it really does touch all parts of uh, part, all parts of our economy and all parts uh, of our country. It's an incredible group of people and that we're working for someone who's a very inspiring leader who cares about these issues uh, and, and that I think we feel the sense of possibility, the hope that's out there in this country that we can, uh, we can move our country into, into a better place that, and that this clean energy economy that is, is really an integral part of a, a, a vision for, for the future and, a, and, and to work on forward-looking policies with a great group of people um, is is great and it's it's wonderful and uh, and uh, I look forward to, uh, to to many happy years doing it.